Hey you guys, what's going on? So today we are out here at my pond and we are filming in-depth episode. I think this is episode 9. I'm here with Big Bait Baker and he is going to show y'all a different way of fishing an old monster worm other than normal Texas rig and stuff like I would throw. So go ahead and tell him how you like to throw it. I like to throw mine with a 3 aught extra wide gaff hook or bigger, weightless. And just today I have it on braid, typically it's 10 pound monofilament. But I just fish it on the bottom and crawl along. Yep. He likes to fish it weightless. I personally rather fish with a bullet weight between an eighth ounce like this one here is or all the way up to a half ounce. I personally like to cast it out and hop it off the bottom. He likes to crawl it on the bottom and he also likes to uh, reel it through the skull or through, yeah, through the school I mean. So go ahead and tell them how you have caught fish before using I've them. I've caught fish with these as soon as they hit the water, just letting it set, do nothing. Tossing them into schools or shad and they decided to pick this up instead of any other shad just because it's a bigger bait and it's slower moving so less calories burned. Yep. So what's your favorite colors when you're fishing these? The only color I've actually used is June bug. Yeah, he uses a June bug. I honestly have not been able to really find the June bug at all. They used to be at Vincent. Yeah, they used to be at our Walmart, but now they're not. So I use the green pumpkin just because that's what I can find. I honestly don't really care to fish these as much as I like fishing like a bullworm or something of that uh, type. I would much rather fish a straight tail worm over a ribbon tail worm. But there is certain situations where a ribbon tail worm works just a bit better than a straight tail worm something else that is a good way to catch them i haven't personally caught them you doing this but i've seen people catch them doing this and that's basically just casting them out over grass and reeling them across the surface like a little snake on the grass and i've seen a lot of people catch fish doing that I've seen a lot of people after they cast and after they work their bait in and stuff, they'll reel up real quick and they'll have bass come up and just smoke their bait as it's coming through the water on top. Something else that you can do with these baits is a Carolina rig. I personally don't fish these the Carolina rig, um, but they do use these a lot on Carolina rig. Um, if I remember right... Uh, the Angler of the Year tournament last year was won by a guy, I think it was Brandon Polinick, and he won using a red, uh, I think the color is called Red Bug, colored old monster on a Texas rig, and I think he had a quarter ounce weight instead of an eighth ounce weight like I got. I'm pretty sure he had a quarter ounce weight, and he was just casting it out and letting it sink real slow, and then just popping it off the bottom. I've only caught one fish using these, and that was how I caught it, just popping them real slow along the top, or along the bottom, excuse me. Zach uses them a lot more than I do, so I mean, he could probably tell you a little bit more about, you know, how he fishes them and stuff like that over what I usually do. Yeah, these fall just like an eighth ounce weight just by itself. Yeah. It's got a decent fall rate. As he casts over my line. I can't go fishing with him anywhere. He has to cast over my line and stuff. But something that I noticed that he was doing was he was casting weightless soft plastics. And he was casting like a weightless trick worm and stuff. And he was casting them a quite a long ways. Versus me that I was fishing, you know, I was fishing a swim bait and a couple other things and I wasn't getting as far as he was and he was just throwing a weightless bait with 30 pound braid. I'm also a king at getting knocked out. Yeah. Alright, he finally got it untangled. Like I was saying, the fall rate of them is... 
pretty good to trigger bass bites. I yeah. have thrown these on a clacker rig, which is a swivel with a bead, then your weight, and then another bead, and they they work pretty well in that rig. I fished that rig in probably 20 foot of water and caught them. Anywhere from six inches, six six, six inch bass up to three pounds. Yeah. Tell them about that giant bluegill you caught. Oh, that one. Last year, I was fishing a pond that's been in many of his videos. I tossed it in going for bass, and I caught about a pound and 11 ounce bluegill. Yeah. He caught a giant bluegill on an old monster. And then just last night, I was fishing these old monsters and kept like, losing big bass in just a small creek. Yeah, what'd you end up catching that four pounder on? I was a white trick one. Was it? Yeah, he's been using uh, weightless old monsters and weightless white trick worms a lot lately. And he's been catching some pretty good fish. That's what he caught that three pound, uh, four ounce fish that we just put in our pond here. He caught it on a white trick worm. Well, yeah, you can fish these weightless Carolina rigged. You can fish a mojo rig, which is basically where you take a split shot about six to eight inches above your main knot to your hook you put a split shot up there and it's like a finesse carolina rig those work pretty well i personally like to fish these big worms on texas rigs it's just my personal preference i know a lot of people like fishing them other ways so yeah I hope you guys like this video. If you do, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. The tube uh, fishing video will be out soon. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye.